Hello all. A uh, viewer asked me to explain how you could run two conky scripts or more uh, at the same time. And uh, so I set up a virtual box with XFCE4 running Arch Linux, of course. And uh, I just made it very basic, as you can see. And for me, the easiest way to set conky up is to get conky colors which is in the Arch Linux user repos repository through YaoArt if you want or you can download and build the use the package to build yourself but I, I'll just use YaoArt here and then just conky and then a dash colors and what this does uh, first of all uh, number two what this does is it pulls in all you need uh, to um, edit and come up with some uh, really uh, interesting configurations so we're gonna get conky itself curl jit as you can see here uh, lm sensors and uh, a couple of fonts three fonts actually so we're going to edit the install no and just continue it will download and build all right so once it's uh, finished install, installing you can exit the terminal and open your uh, file manager uh, in this case it's thunar and press control h and you have your usual dot files and, and uh, what we're going to look for is conky colors now it's not here so what you do it won't create it until you uh, actually run the command so back to the terminal control T in my case and you just type in conky colors and what I would suggest is conky dash colors and then two dashes help and then out to conky underscore help dot t txt text file so back to our home on high uh, go back to the regular look and there's a help file here of all kinds of options um, so for example uh, you can spawn the directory and stuff uh, by just doing something like two dashes and the logo say and the supported logos are uh, Ubuntu Fedora and so on you see arches in here so basically what you do is uh, conky dash colors two dashes arch if you want arch Linux and then press enter then it says now the conky colors have been copied to copy to your home folder dot conky colors generated configuration files are copied to this folder so to run it you just you can just highlight this and copy and then paste that into the terminal and then press enter and there we go on the top uh, right you see a basic configuration with the time uh, the RAM uh, CPU the kernel and the uptime and there's our arch logo in the little screen there under system now there isn't much going on so you can press control C and it will terminate conky so back to our home folder uh, again to unhide the dot files control H and now we can see here we have conky colors and there's our conky RC file and whatever your default text editor you can open that so that's what I'm going to do this will open with leafpad and there's a script here okay now just to start uh, it says alignment top right let's change this to top left and we're going to save it just a slightly different name save as conky rc underscore l for left it doesn't matter what you want to call it just uh, save and we'll close that now we have two conky rc files all right so let's create a new empty file and we'll do a bin uh, slash uh, bin slash bash and then uh, the command uh, so this will be a script and this is how you get the two uh, or more uh, conky files running at the same time so I filled in uh, the uh, uh, script here and it's just conky dash C then you can use a string for home so you don't have to type the full path and then the two the dot conky colors and the conky RC and put an ampersand so it won't uh, end after the next line and then the new copy conky rc-l file so we'll just uh, file save close and uh, rename this 
to uh, anything you want. Usually a conky underscore start is good. And then just right click properties, permissions, allow this file to run as a program. Close. Uh, just a quick correction. It's not conky dash colors. It's just one word conky colors. So save, quit, and uh, make it executable. Open the terminal here, and then now type type in dot and a slash conky. You press tab, conky underscore start. There we go. Now we have two conky um, colors running at the same time. One on the top right, one on the top left. So let's go back to this conky left is the one we want to edit. And you see here, we could leave most everything the same, uh, but you can mess around with the uh, the sizes and the fonts and the colors and all kinds of things. First of all, though, since we don't want to have the same information, we'll just take all this here system and just page all the way down and delete. And where it says system here, we can, uh, the viewer asks for like uh, terminal. You can make it all capitals or whatever, commands. And in uh, the arch, anyway, as soon as you hit uh, control S to save, it will restart that file. And I can see now here it says terminal commands, and that's called strippled, those uh, dot lines there. So let's just mess around with this part here, uh, Liberation Sands. Uh, you notice it has a, a, two, a colon and style bold. Maybe take that line out and then maybe change this to uh, 10. Now, color wise, um, it has predefined colors of obviously this white and this other color, reddish color. You can actually define if they're simple colors, say the color for um, something weird like yellow. <laughs> and then all you do, you can say, for example, put it at the beginning of the line. A string, which is like a dollar sign, two of these uh, parentheses, uh, brackets, and then uh, color, and you just type color four. Control S, save, restarts, and now it's a yellow color. So it's pretty straightforward so far. Just make sure you have text here, <laughs> the defined text in the script. So I've added and changed the color. So I've changed the the color and the font. So the first line will now be this red, this reddish color. And once I save, and the font will change. And there's like an example of what you can say. Control L equals clear screen. So I'll save it, and we'll see what happens. Okay. Now you see that it's uh, made a little too close to where it says uh, terminal commands. So what we can put there, see it at the beginning of this line, is a dollar sign two brackets and then uh, V offset and another space in the number four. That should move it down just a bit, see, as it's not so uh, close to that. All right. Now, if you continue on, all you have to do is if you want the, you should have the V offset just to make it a little more readable, I guess. And then um, you can continue putting in uh, your con commands like ctrl control uh, plus u equals delete entry whatever delete command the last command and so on save you notice that it retains the color and the font all right so there's sort of a, a an idea how you do, uh, run multiple conky scripts at the same time I've modified obviously some things and uh, I just copied from what you know from the beginning the uh, basic conky RC and just renamed it so if I switch to conky colors uh, this is the, the, the latest one I added uh, just conky RC underscore B for bottom and you can just some attributes are the uh, Y gap made it negative 400 so it's more to the near the bottom if you go too far you won't see it <laughs> and uh, you can obviously experiment with that and for the uh, bash script to 
start multiple. Just put two ands now. So and uh, ampersands for the home, the first one, and then for the left, and then bottom. You just leave uh, as it is. If you add more, put an and there, and then point it to whatever your RC file is. And that's pretty much all you have to do. Okay, so that's conky colors. Uh, if it's in Arch Linux, uh, you can get it through other distros. I'll, I'll point a link to the page where you can uh, download it. You might have to do a little bit of uh, compiling, though. But it's basically the same thing. All right, so I hope that uh, helps the uh, viewer out on the question and uh, anybody else watching this. So thank you so much for watching, and we'll talk to you soon. And bye for now.